Live and alert on the north side of the dirt. It is your man D Real coming at you with another Be Real with D Real, where entertainment is what I do. Mm. This one here is why I wore this shirt. This one here is strictly for my niggas. Niggas is an Ethiopian title for royalty. So, what I'm doing this evening is I am putting together a uh, kind of what I would call a respect thread of all the videos. Uh, well, not all, but just some of the juicy parts of some recast T'Challa videos I've done over the past uh, year and a half, two years. Um, it basically kind of drives the point home of what I've been saying for the better part of a few years. Um, and I hope that y'all can kind of get off into it, enjoy it. Um, not so much of a told you so moment as it is a cautionary tale of what can happen when we trust blindly. Even in our icons, you should never trust anything. You should never go into anything blindly. Never go into anything blindly. You're going to bump your head, split your lip, Something's going to happen. You need to see what's in front of you. And you need to know if it's the truth or if it's a spin job. Without further ado, what I like to call the D-Real T'Challa Men. Enjoy, y'all. Benign neglect is the term that we are going to learn today. And I hear a lot of y'all out there saying, be real, what is benign neglect? And how does it relate to what we're going to be discussing today? Well, after I tell you what benign neglect is, there will be no doubt in your mind why we're, dis why we're discussing it, why we're having discourse about it. Benign neglect, a noun, an attitude or policy of ignoring an often delicate or undesirable situation that one is held to be responsible for dealing with. I remember in the 80s, there was this group called Millie Vanilli. And Millie Vanilli had this song called, Girl, You Know It's True. Ooh, 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 I love you. And, and these cats won a, won a Grammy. They won a Grammy. Later on down the line, come to find out, did neither one of them jokers sing on that song? But the point of the matter is, Muzz was loving Millie Vanilli when they thought Millie Vanilli was singing them lyrics. But as soon as they found out, Millie Vanilli wasn't singing them lyrics. Millie Vanilli's name became Mud. Now, I know there's a lot of people. They may not necessarily be caping for Nate Moore. And they may not necessarily be caping Kevin Feige. But I just saw today somebody said the biggest disappointment they have about the recast T'Challa movement was that we didn't have enough faith in this project that Ryan is putting out. Uh, reign of April, where you been the past two years, okay? Because this child is saying, oh, y'all got a petition with 60,000 signatures on it. You know what a petition with 60,000 signatures means? It's a petition with 60,000 signatures. The 60,000 signatures are meant to draw attention 
two things that are not being addressed. Thought you might know that, but if you didn't know, as I said earlier, edutainment is what I do. So, were you also aware of the fact that when everybody was feeling all sad and sorry for uh, Ryan Coogler when he got mistaken for a bank robber at Bank of America. Bank of America. Bank of America. I'm going to leave that right there because that's, that's neither here nor there, but, but it kind of is. If you're Black and you're still banking with Bank of America, the problem ain't Bank of America. I'm just saying. Number four reason why I'm not going to see Black Panther 2 is the ignorance of the recast T'Challa petition. And what I mean by that is the people who need to acknowledge that there is a petition out there to recast T'Challa act as if they don't know it's out there. You ain't got to do nothing but say, F that petition, or don't nobody care about that petition, or I'm shooting a movie here. I got better things to do than entertain your silly little petition. At least that way, you would acknowledge that you knew it existed. Ah, 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 ah. But if you acknowledge it exists, then that means you got to acknowledge other things. And those other things are things that you don't want to acknowledge, things that you don't want to admit or accept. And that is why you are ignorant. Okay. William Hurt, Oscar winning actor for Kiss of the Spider Woman, dies at 71. So y'all already know <laughs> what my next question is getting ready to be. Are y'all going to recast the role of General Thunderbolt Ross? And if you can recast the role of General Thunderbolt Ross, because the actor died and because it's such an iconic role. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Those are the earmarks of things that have been said with regard to recasting Chadwick Boseman's role. Too iconic. We can't recast that role. Way too iconic. Chadwick Boseman and T'Challa are one. Are General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross and William Hurt one? Do we regard them in that same manner? If they recast the role, apparently they don't. So this is going to be rather interesting to see play out in real time. Uh, I don't know if there are any projects Marvel has on the horizon that will include the presence of General Ross. But if it does, I don't think that's a difficult recast because in the original uh, 2003 Hulk, General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross was portrayed by... Uh, Sam Elliott, Sam Elliott, Sam Elliott. Okay, so whom I did, think did a pretty decent job, if you ask me. But if you are recasting that role, are you going to stick to the same excuses and point at the usual suspects and say, this is why? We're not recasting the role. <sighs> Come on, y'all. It's tiring um, that we're doing this 
this social volleyball, this verbal volleyball, this back and forth. Well, it ain't even back and forth because we hitting the ball to you and you ain't hitting it back. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not so much volleyball as it is handball. The point being, a lot of emphasis is being put, and, and, and a lot of those images, if not all of them, I'm pretty sure all of them uh, are fan-made. But a lot of emphasis is being put on girl power, MCU. We, 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 we coming to take over. You know, y'all had y'all turn for the first 20 movies. Now we getting ready to go ham and do about 20, 30 movies, which I don't have a problem with. What I have a problem with is, and what I've always said I had a problem with, anybody who watches this channel knows what I have a problem with in that whole equation. It ain't the addition of what's in the movie. I guess, you know, maybe Riri Williams to a certain degree because that's like totally out of context and it's, it's you yeah, know, okay, this is the one nine, 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 nine. And so it ain't the 616. So seeing maybe is a little cognitive dissonance on my part. Seeing all of this, you know, alternate stuff and, and looking at this other universe and seeing how it's like, okay, we ain't got to pay no attention to the 616 if we don't want to. All we ha have to do is take the base characters out of the 616 and, and go ham with them. And that's essentially what's happening in Wakanda forever. It's not based on any, it doesn't appear to be based on anything canonical. Uh, it, it's based on ideas and concepts of canonical ideas. At the risk of sounding corny, maybe some people need to be reminded, there is no I in T. Okay, I am a veteran of the military six years, six months, and 21 days in this man's Navy, spent a lot of it on the water. So I had to figure out things to influence and and lead the people under me literally literal the military definition of leadership is the art an art believe me there's an art to it the art of influencing men's minds that don't mean mind control it just means what you're saying is appealing the art of influencing men's minds in such a way as to gain their willing respect for the accomplishment of a mission. So I have to, if I want to see the T'Challa movement, the recast T'Challa movement proliferate and grow, I have to influence minds in such a way as to gain their willing respect, okay? When you see me out here cranking out two, three videos a week that are recast and child related, know I'm about that life. Um, I may not have the subs, that some people have who speak on it, not like they should, but speak on it because they have a platform, okay? I got a platform. It isn't as large a platform as most, but I could tell you one thing. I'm all or nothing. If, if, if I throw my hat into a foray, if I, if I put my nickel in and say, okay, when we doing this, then there better be a definitive date of when we're doing this. Don't just, I'm not coming around and, and, and commiserating and sharpening swords to just go back home. There's got to be an end game. We're going to talk about a very scary word. Not scary to me, but it seems to be scary to a lot of other people. 
Um, the word I'm talking about, of course, is boycott. Um, there's been a lot of chit chat, jibber jabber here and there about boycotting Black Panther Wakanda forever. Tiny Black Panther Wakanda forever, by the way. Um, and there have been some people, well, I'll tell you the, the three trains of thought that I have had to deal with. First train of thought, ironically, comes from pro recasters. And I ain't got no beef with pro recasters, even pro recasters who say we ain't boycotting. Because what a lot of people don't understand about a boycott, a boycott is a choice. Okay? People can choose to boycott just like they can choose not to boycott. Okay? Um, people are okay with non, with, with, with pro recasters not wanting to go see Wakanda forever. They're even fine with pro recasters sharing the opinion that they are not going to see Wakanda forever. They're even cool with people who have stated they're not going, talking to other people who have also stated that they're not going. They're even cool with groups of these people being together on different social platforms talking about not going to see this movie. But when these people who are in a group together in agreement with what they want to do call that action a boycott that's when folks start getting nervous that's when folks start getting triggered that's when all the funky accusations come that's when people start telling you what they think you should be doing or what you should not be doing as far as pro recasters are concerned, and, and, and they are sticking to the tenets of the petition, which was laid out by E-Man, okay, I can respect that. If you choose to stay the course and remain, you know, kind of sedentary, um, that's cool. That's perfectly cool. However, you cannot tell other people what they can and cannot do simply because they do not agree with your course of action. If it happens, cool. If all of this time they've had a T'Challa in the wings all along and just didn't open their mouth or say anything about it for fear of what the response to a new T'Challa might be, That's on y'all. That's on the mini men. You know what I'm saying? If y'all had a T'Challa all this time, or you have a T'Challa, and, you, and you're hiding him because you're afraid of what the response may be, bruh, you ain't got to worry about no negative response from us, mini men, because this is what we've been asking you for. So if you do have one and you're trying to put egg on our face and you're trying to make us look silly because that's what I was told that if there is a T'Challa in that movie and they release it, we're going to look silly. No, we ain't. Because I can explain my, my, my rationale quite eloquently. It doesn't matter if, oh, see, they were talking all that stuff all of this time and there was a the T'Challa in the movie. Cool. But why didn't you say so? Why did you say we're not going to be recasting T'Challa in the MCU 616 universe? They said that. We didn't say that. Nobody, nobody at the recast movement said that. They did. So you'd be playing in our hands 
if you recast it to Chala. And I don't think they want to do that. And and they're pretending to ignore us and not acknowledge us. So either way that equation goes, that doesn't fall on people like me. I can't give it to you no realer than that. Edutainment is what I do, y'all. Keep your eyes open. Stay diligent. This ain't over. This ain't even hardly the opening foray for us. Recast T'Challa. Save T'Challa. Boycott Black Panther 2 Wakanda forever. Boycott's a choice. You could choose not to boycott, or you could just choose to not go and see the movie and don't call it boycott. Your choice. Okay? I'll be coming at you with another one of the mother ones, and until I do, yo, y'all be good. Be good to each other.